This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics is everything your team needs to build, learn, and compete. Check out their FTC starter kit, intake hub kit, and odometry wheel options at studica.com slash robots. Teams in the USA can get up to 25% off and apply for grants at studica.com slash robots. Our number seven team is going to be Great Scott 7974. Welcome on and great to see you again. And uh, let us know where your progress is and what you've been working on. Yeah, of course. As was mentioned, uh, we are 7974 Great Scott. Um, we've made quite a bit of progress so far. Um, so we started off with a pretty basic drivetrain. Um, we have our motors nested in the back. Two of them are direct drive. Two of them are belted. Um, as you can see, the belts are here. Direct drive is here. It gives us a nice low center of gravity because we're actually reusing belted slides from our power play season. Um, sadly, not as fancy as Gearhead's as belted slides, but we're trying our best. Um, it's uh, four stages, which gives us about one meter, 1.1 meters, which is enough to reach the high bucket there. Um, and for the most part, it's a pretty basic robot. Um, we've made a lot of progress on our claw, and Ramiro will be happy to talk about that. Well, then about the claw, what we decided is to uh, made in putting the claw some spikes over here, as you can see. That is uh, basically to pick the specimen from all, from almost every angle and make it the, the most effective grab as possible to put it as best as we can during the competition. So is that 3D printed like today? Yes. Yeah. How'd you come up with the design so quick for that? We have some very skilled. Um, we like to think we're pretty good at CAD, so that's how we made the design. But uh, for the design, we noticed that there was this triangle um, indent on the sample on all sides. Um, so we figured that we would make it kind of into a pyramid. So no matter which direction we are grabbing the sample, um, these claw tips will kind of dig into it. Uh, but also having it on all four sides kind of means that the sample vectors into the claw passively when the claw is closing around it, which means that it's going to be really accurate for grabbing um, the samples when they're randomized inside the area and also just makes it a lot faster, more accurate. So approaching the game on this, anything else that you guys immediately were like, this is something we really want to do either for Robot in 30 hours or maybe for the regular season? Um, yeah, kind of looking forward to the Robot in 30 hours. Last year, we bit off a bit more than we could chew with an active intake for center stage, so we decided we just want to go with something uh, nice, classy, simple, and just make sure that we can pace ourselves, and it seems that we're having a pretty good time doing that. Great question coming in uh, from uh, Surya, asking, how do you pick up the samples when they are flat on the ground and not vertical? Can you show that? Of course, yeah. Um, does the camera pan down? Okay, yep. perfect. So, yeah, when the sample is flat on the ground here, we are actually, I'm going to take this clip off here. So when it's uh, flat on the ground here, we are able to just bring the claw over, grab it there, and then it's just, it works perfectly. It works from all the angles. Very cool. Now, I had another question come in, uh, by the way, from Anders Gears, uh, asking about, uh, I think it's your drive. Uh, is the belt connected to both the front and back wheels, uh, or is it just the uh, front wheel drive? It's just the front wheel drive. So when you're looking at it, can you explain a little bit more about that methodology then? So we decided that we want area in the front so that we can uh, move around game objects, elements. So we decided to keep our motors towards the back. We wanted to keep it simple, and we have bad experiences with bevel gears. So we just direct drove the back two wheels and then decided to use belts to get to the front two. Very cool. Anything else uh, progress-wise you want to talk about uh, with your robot? Uh, not really. I mean, for the most part, we have um, a lot of it built. Looking forward to hopefully getting it running tonight. And I think we've made pretty good progress. So looking forward to the next few hours. Definitely looking forward to that as well, too. Let's give great Scott a big round of applause. So thank you, great Scott. 
This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics is everything your team needs to build, learn, and compete. Check out their FTC starter kit, intake hub kit, and odometry wheel options at studica.com slash robots. Teams in the USA can get up to 25% off and apply for grants at studica.com slash robots.